Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, home quiz here of the Earthquake Forecast Center. It is 9.04, 9.04 p.m. on Wednesday, September 22nd, 2021. Wednesday, September 22nd, 2021, 9.04 p.m. And we have a few of the forecasts done, and we're going to get those out right away here, show you what we're doing. Um, first of all, uh, let's go over the... Uh, Los Angeles forecast. Uh, this forecast model is the same forecast model that we're using in this uh, latest forecast uh, here on the uh, quakeprediction.com. And you can see this peak, these two peaks here, and this peak, and the smaller peak here, all similar to this, 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 and this, and that one. It's the same forecast model. However, uh, yesterday, this is the 20 couple of days I went with the a different forecast model it's confusing so I'm back to this very good forecast model here this is the one where we saw this peak here coming on the 18th and we forecasted a significant earthquake and it actually happened on late on the 17th so it hit a little bit early so let's go to that forecast model and this is the latest Los Angeles forecast again this was a 3.6 back in the morning of the 13th and this 4.3 earthquake on this peak here in the 18th hit uh, a little bit early on the 17th. That was a 4.3 in the Los Angeles uh, Carson City area. Now, this spike in risk here on 8 p.m. tonight, which is uh, actually it's right about now, 8 p.m. and uh, that spike in risk is at 71%. So something should happen uh, very soon with this spike in risk here on late in the 22nd. And uh, this risk here uh, tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, Pacific time could trigger something between now and tomorrow morning. And then a much stronger peak is coming in uh, at 5 p.m. on the 24th. So between now, 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. actually right now, 9 p.m. the 22nd and 5 p.m. the 24th, between these two peaks here, we should see a, uh, well, I was doing the data for the salt and the sea forecast. It looks like between a 5.1 and 5.7, somewhere between Los Angeles and the salt and sea. And we'll show you why that's true with the, uh, the El Centro forecast. And you see the same thing here. We have that peak here at 3.6 hit on that peak, 4.3 on this uh, peak here that peaked on the 18th, and it hit a little early on the 17th. This uh, spike in risk here on the 21st produced a 3.2 just uh, near the Salton Sea. On this spike in risk, this one is coming up tonight. And it's 54% in the Salton Sea area because we have a much larger peak coming in on the uh, 25th in the morning. So on this forecast, you can see the, uh, the peak is smaller here. It's, it's calibrated a little bit differently, but this forecasted peak here and between this one here, the 22nd, late in the 22nd, into the 24th and the 25th, especially in the Salton Sea area, between that time, this spike in risk tonight, and this very large one here coming on the late on the 24th into the 25th. Between now and then, we will get a large earthquake in Southern California, most likely uh, in that area that's been getting all the, uh, the uh, swarm of earthquakes down here. And you can see here, we had like a hundred of them, I believe. You see them, they're all right here, southeast of Hemet and uh, southwest of Palm Springs, uh, near Anza, A-N-Z-A, in Idlewild, right here south of Idlewild. This area here looks like the area that will get that quake, 5.1 to 5.7 is earth, earthquake is likely. And uh, that should be coming right here between right now, the 22nd, on this spike and risk here, and the there's have a spike in risk on the 23rd as well in the Salton Sea, and this very large peak on the 24th. And you can see the Los Angeles forecast as these two spikes in risk as well, 71% uh, risk 
in uh, the Los Angeles area tonight, and then another strong one on the 24th. And the uh, the 4.2, 4.3 in uh, Carson City that occurred a day before this very large peak here. So uh, this spike in risk late on the 5 p.m. and the 24th could uh, that earthquake could hit earlier than uh, that spike in risk, like the one that happened here on the 18th and hit a day early. So I'm expecting this quake between now, the 22nd, 8 p.m., 9 p.m., the 22nd, and 5 p.m., the 24th. So between then, between now and the 24th, 5 p.m., sometime between those two spikes in risk, we should get a strong earthquake in Southern California. And like I said, most likely in the area near Anza. And we do have one more forecast map graph that we got done. And this one is a little more zoomed in. This is that 4.3 that hit in Southern California. 68% risk coming up in Coalinga Park Field on uh, today, the 22nd. And then a very strong spike in risk on the 24th. So uh, same thing in Co Coalinga Park Field between now, the 22nd, and the 24th. We're looking for a strong earthquake in Southern California. All right. And in Tokyo, this is that old forecast uh, model, but uh, I think they're agreeing on the 22nd into the 23rd, something happening there. But we will update those other forecasts for Athens, Greece, and for Anchorage, some of these other forecasts here um, during the next 24 hours or so. Uh, it's just uh, been a lot of work to try to catch up on all this stuff. But the main point in today's forecast is watch for that strong earthquake in Southern California between LA and the Salton Sea, most likely uh, southwest of Palm Springs, northeast of San Diego, southeast of Los Angeles, near Anza, Idlewild, uh, Hemet, that area is the most likely area for this 5.1 to 5.7 earthquake between now, 9 p.m. tonight, the 22nd, and the 24th, 5 p.m. the 24th. So during the next 48, 48 hours or so. All right. And once again, we, you can go to quakeprediction.com for these uh, video for, uh, earthquake forecast uh, graphs. And we will be updating all those graphs shortly with that uh, forecast model that's working so well um, across the state and uh, in Athens, Greece, and in Japan as well. Um, so we will uh, talk to you again uh, tomorrow, the 23rd, and most, li most likely before or, or when we talk to you tomorrow, uh, we should have gotten some kind of a foreshock in that area that I was talking about between LA and uh, Salton Sea, something significant uh, tonight into tomorrow, and then another stronger earthquake coming up uh, could be the 23rd or the 24th on that other uh, big spike in risk on the 24th. So we'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks so much for your support and we will see you later. There we go.